friends technology these days has developed to such an extent that most of the things that exist today if we go 100 200 years back then all of them were just dreams for the human race but we humans have got the ability to observe by observing the nature the god's creation up to the nanoscopic and picoscopic levels or even smaller than that whatever you may say indeed we humans have learned a lot of things and that's what forms the basics of the modern day science today we know why a chameleon can change its color we know why the human bone can re- heal itself automatically after it gets wounded so the knowledge of all these things led to the development of the smart materials so what are these smart materials these are the materials that respond to the changes in the environment if the temperature changes they respond to it in a certain way if the pressure changes they respond to it in a certain way if the humidity changes they respond to it in a certain way and all these different responses in a different ways we humans with the help of our intelligence we have put them under specific applications so let's have a look at some of the smart materials that we have got and explore through the wonderful and magical world of science Imagine our buildings, bridges and railroads being reconstructed on their own without any human intervention after the earthquake has destroyed them. Can you imagine it? That sounds fiction, isn't it? But actually it isn't. You will understand after I after I end my presentation why it isn't a fiction anymore. Now, cracks in the concrete are the very basic reason why the structures become weak and they collapse so a microbiologist named hendrik jonga he thought that the human bones can heal themselves automatically through the process of mineralization so why can't our concrete do the same thing he found out a bacteria named bacillus pseudoformis which can live for more than 200 years without any food and water so if these bacteria he put them under small capsules biodegradable capsules he brought three things together the normal concrete that we have the calcium lactate granules and the capsules with the bacteria inside them then he mixed all three things together and that's how we got our self healing concrete now how does this self healing concrete help us in our daily life when crack takes place in the concrete these capsules they break up and the bacteria inside them they come in contact with the moisture in the atmosphere and the calcium lactate granules in the concrete both this water and calcium lactate they act as food for the bacteria they consume them as their food and in return they produce calcium carbonate or in simple words i can say limestone then then this limestone which is the by product of the of the reaction it fills up the cracks on its own So, so that's the science behind it then again we have a different material a magical electronic solid strip like material you can cut that strip into two halves bring them close to one another and boom they reunite no welding no adhesive no epoxy you can then bend it twist it stretch it do whatever you want to do but it's not going to break anymore So now let's have a look what's the science behind this This material is made up of boron nitride nano sheets it has even got electronic circuit inside it up to the nanoscopic level so the bonding between the atoms of this material is due to the bonding between the hydrogen atoms when we bring the two parts close to one another they are attracted to each other due to the electrostatic force of attraction then the electronics inside that material it causes the hydrogen atoms to reunite and once they are reunited they just return back to the same position as they were before without any flaw and without any defect so that's the beauty of science now let's move further can you imagine an efficient modern day refrigeration system working without a compression and refrigerant do you think it's possible yes it's hard to believe but yes it has become possible 
It was just months before in the year 2016 when an American company named Cooltech Applications it launched an industrial and household refrigeration system without the compressor and the refrigerants. It works on the principle of magnetocaloric effect. And for this magnetocaloric effect to take place, it is important to have a magnetocaloric smart material. And that smart material has been given to us by the nature itself in the form of an element. The name of that element is gadolinium. So the gadolinium alone cannot be used directly because its curie temperature was not that much high. So to increase its curie temperature, they made an alloy out of it which consists of the gadolinium, silicon and germanium. Then the property of this gadolinium alloy is such when it is placed inside a magnetic field its temperature increases and when it is taken out from the magnetic field its temperature decreases. So what these people from the Cooltech application were able to find out is that they found out a way to repeatedly magnetize and demagnetize this gadolinium alloy such that it produces two stable hot and cold regions. Then the region with the cold temperature can be used for the purpose of refrigeration. So that's the basics of this refrigeration system which works on the gadolinium alloy which is a smart material. The next one we have the shape memory alloys or even the polymers. So these shape memory materials they are the materials that are able to remember a particular shape for a particular temperature. For all the different temperatures, they may have a different shape. But the moment they are brought back to the same cured temperature, they return back to the same cured shape. So researches are being done to apply this material in the aircraft because nowadays aircraft they consume a lot of power in running the motors of those flaps present on the wings because to change the direction of the aeroplane it is important to change to lift those flaps on the wings. So what the scientists are thinking that if they are able to apply the shape memory alloys then the aeroplanes would be able to directly change the shapes of the wings like this directly like this just as the wings just as the birds and eagles do so it would save a lot of power because all we would need to do is to heat and cool the alloy so that it changes the temperature so another application of this shape memory alloy is taking place in developing the variable discharge pipes they are such that if the temperature of the pipe is increased then the diameter increases and, and the discharge increases and, since, and then if the temperature is decreased they contract and the diameter decreases and the discharge also decreases. So you can also think of the various applications of these smart materials which have come into existence just 30 to 40 years and most of them are the most recent ones. So let's wait and see what science brings for us in the future. Thank you.